Hi, this is a review of Honda's CB1000R. Watch this video to see if this motorcycle is right for you. So there are two forces in the motorcycle world that have been raging for a couple of years now. The cafe racer craze and the naked bike craze. Somewhere amidst the Japanese horsepower shootout of the 90s and early 2000s, consumer preferences began to change a little bit, away from the super sports to something, well, a little different. One group decided that classic styling was more important than performance and they began spending their winters trying to restore old Honda CB motorcycles to create something truly unique and personalized. Now there are a ton of subcategories as passionate fans of cafe racers recreate the classic scramblers, classic Bonneville salt flat racers, and even take inspiration from classic movies like The Great Escape and flat track racing machines. On the other end of the spectrum, you find the naked bike fanatics. This is a group of consumers that have begun trading a little bit of race-ready fairingness for something a little more upright that gives you some comfort and practicality for daily use. Not to mention that they offer hours of easy wheelies. Proponents of naked bikes want a more practical ride without sacrificing the performance and aggressive stylings that they came to know and love from super sports. The first naked bikes were literally super sports with the fairings removed, probably because they were damaged in a wreck. So now we have tons of offerings in the naked bike category. Motorcycles with massive performance, little or no fairings, and an upright riding position. And at the same time, we have a variety of classic style bikes that look more like what you're familiar with from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. But there are some issues with both cafe racers and naked bikes that show us where the Honda CB1000 fits into the picture. See, custom cafe racers are cool, like really cool. I love looking at the pictures on Instagram, but honestly, that's about it. They're just cool. They're not really great at anything. You see, cafe racers are usually uncomfortable. They don't have any modern features, and their performance specs are, well, regrettably classic, making them impractical for a lot of riders. The naked bikes are modern performance machines with power plants straight out of racing motorcycles. They even offer more comfort and practicality than a super sport, but most are aggressively and futuristically styled. To many consumers, they're an eyesore. They lack the classic appeal of a cafe racer or a classically styled motorcycle. So we have a few examples now of major manufacturers trying to split the difference. Honda has tried to make an attractive motorcycle that's classic without looking old with all the bite that a modern 1000cc motorcycle should have. So. Let's take a look at this bike together and see how Honda did. Meet the Honda CB1000R. This is what Honda calls a Neo Sports Cafe. If you're looking for something classic, it might seem modern. If you're expecting a modern naked bike with aggressive styling, it'll likely feel subdued and a little bit elegant. So notice where Honda went with this. Instead of a big plastic fairing uh, to scoop air into the radiator, Honda chose more subtle brushed aluminum accents. So we have a radiator guard and brushed aluminum. We also have a really nice brushed aluminum finish here that matches the rear sets. And they chose to go with a more modern style exhaust. I've seen this in other reviews called the boom box. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, but up front is a little more classic and in the rear here is a little more modern. Up front, the Honda also splits the difference. The Neo Sports Cafe has a digital dash that fits the personality of the rest of the bike. It's not in line with the modern TFT dash technology, so if you expect this in a new bike, you might be disappointed, but I think the dash fits very well with what Honda was going for in the styling. So it may seem like this bike is a tiny frame wrapped around a huge power plant, and that's because, well, it is. This is a massive, 998cc motorcycle engine borrowed from the superbike, the Honda Fireblade. So what you have is styling somewhere in between an aggressive naked bike and a classic cafe racer with the power plant of a super sport. So you can read about the specs online anywhere. I won't waste your time with a bunch of them, but when it comes to the engine, the power plant, and the performance, here's what you need to know. 
The CB1000R is powered by a 998cc power plant taken from the 2008 Fireblade. It makes nearly 150 horsepower and 75 foot-pounds of torque. The performance is absolutely face-melting just like you'd expect. The bite is vicious and the CB1000R has all the basics that you expect from a modern motorcycle. The Neo Sports Cafe has traction control, full riding modes, and fully adjustable show of suspension. So my first impression when riding is the bike isn't light, but it's really compact. So it feels small and manageable. Uh, this is impressive to me for a bike that has such a huge displacement. It carries its weight really low, and that combined with a low seat height makes it approachable for uh, either shorter riders or riders that haven't really gone anywhere near a 1000cc superbike before. The riding position is slightly forward, and while I generally prefer perfectly upright, with a bike this powerful and no windscreen, I, I like that it's leaned forward a little bit. Uh, it helps me not slide backward on the seat when I hit the gas. It's just so powerful that the riding position needed to be a little more aggressive than uh, straight up and down. <laughs> the bike just has so much bite. So I didn't mess with the suspension uh, so far uh, as long as I've been testing this bike, but I can tell that getting the suspension adjusted right is going to be important. The bike didn't track well through corners at first, but then when I adjusted my body weight to be more forward and got more weight over the front wheel, it began tracking better. I'm a really lightweight rider, so the rear suspension bounced me around a lot on bumpy roads. If I had the bike longer, I'd definitely soften it up and dial it in for my particular size and specific riding style. There are a couple of things that I really don't like about this motorcycle. The first thing I noticed stylistically that I really don't like is what they did with the tail. They, they went with a detached fender instead of a higher fender coming from behind here and to me it reminds me of the Ducati Diavel which I really don't like and I don't prefer. I also don't think it matches the rest of the bike. Secondly, uh, the muffler. Um, I think it matches the rest of the style of the bike but I've heard a lot of complaints. Some people might feel like it's not classic enough. This reminds me of the Kawasaki Ninja H2 a uh, really big, bold, aggressive muffler. And so it's obviously in the eyes of the consumer whether it fits the styling uh, of the rest of the bike. This bike is definitely gonna turn heads. Uh, people are gonna notice it, but in a different sort of a way than a cafe racer or like a Kawasaki Z series naked bike. It's just, yeah, it's right in the middle. It's right in between the old and the new. So on the dash here, Honda has decided to put this weird flashing multicolored LED. I don't really know why it flashes or what makes it turn colors, or what they mean. Uh, uh, this is just the initial impression. At night, it's really distracting. And to me, it also doesn't fit with the rest of the styling of the bike. So if you know what this light is for, uh, please illuminate the rest of us comment below. I'd love to know. Besides personally really liking the style, there are a few other things I really like. Firstly, it cools itself off really, really well. I never felt any heat on my legs while riding. I just love the performance. What most people expect from a high performance naked bike, the CB1000R really delivers. It's not up for debate. Shifting is smooth and braking response is perfect to me. Uh, the feel of the controls and the fit and finish really inspire confidence. Uh, another thing I really like about the bike is the practicality. I wasn't bothered at all by the size and weight when I was stuck in traffic. The bar lock is really wide and the balance is really good, so I'd be fine commuting on this bike no problem. So here it is, the Honda CB1000R. Honda's attempt to split the difference between aggressively styled naked bikes and classically styled cafe racers. If you like the way Honda did the styling, you want the highest performance motorcycle in its class, uh, something that truly has the heart of a superbike, and if it's within your budget, this Honda might be the choice for you. Thanks for watching.